and welcome to a wild Galway garden. We're here in East Galway near Athen Rye and today I'm going to show you around some of our garden. We try to garden in a way that benefits biodiversity and uses biodiversity to grow food and flowers. We're here beside a wonderful old oak tree. This oak tree is about 150, 160 years old and it supports a massive web of insects and wildlife. So when you come out here on a summer's night, you'll see the bats swooping and diving through the leaves, through the, the canopy and underneath the branches. And that's a real sign that shows you just how full of life it is. For me, biodiversity is about so much more than what you can see, insects or birds. It's about what's in the soil, what's living. And by creating your own compost, you're bringing life into your garden. And it's, it's such a wonderful way to, to use waste products such as your grass clippings or vegetable peelings. And if you do this in, a, in, in, a, in, a, in the right way, it's like making, a, it's like a recipe. And you can cook it very slowly and at the end, you're left with this wonderful living substance that brings life into your garden and into your soil. To make compost, you need a variety of different ingredients. So there's a mix between, they call them green and brown ingredients. Green are rich in nitrogen and brown are rich in carbon. Coffee grinds, nice and small, are rich in nitrogen and help heat up your compost heap. Grass clippings, are also rich in nitrogen. So these are both considered green uh, materials for your compost. We also collect the, the leaf mould that falls in the garden in autumn. So we just go around and using the lawnmower, we, we gather it up and put it into a nice big pile. And then we can add this to the compost throughout the year. So this is rich in brown materials. And cardboard and Pa brown paper is another really ri uh, substance rich in uh, carbon. So by mixing all these together and a bit of moisture, that's when the magic happens. So here we have three bays for our compost. This is the first one that's just starting off cooking now. So this is only about a week or two old. And this is, is the hottest bay. And it can get up to temperatures of 70 degrees Celsius, which is really hot. And with that, it helps, um, it helps sterilize the seeds that might be in the soil. The second bay is finished cook, is we've finished adding to it now. So this is the compost now that has been on the go for about two months. And you look, you see it's really starting to break down. Small little sticks, but it's well on the way. And even two weeks ago now, this was up to 60, 70 degrees. And it starts to reduce down in volume. And with that, the temperature also starts to fall. And it breaks down gradually. And the third bay is, is nearly ready to use. And it's full of life. You can see it's broken right down. And it's full of life. Just look at that. Full of worms, microbes. Oh, it's just full of goodness and a lovely, dark, rich brown colour and becoming nice and crumbly. It'll be just magic for the garden. So here beside the compost heap, we have a plant growing called comfrey. Now, com comfrey is a really useful plant because it helps um, take in nitrogen, which is really useful for growing plants. And also there's these little flowers here, they're, they're about to come into bloom and they're really wonderful for pollinators. Um, so it's a win-win. It's a so we use this in our compost heap and we also use it for liquid feed with nettles. So together with the comfrey, we can use nettles to make a liquid feed for our plants. And it's, it's very simple, you just tear up the leaves of the nettles and, and the comfrey and you put them into a bucket of water and you leave it for a few weeks. And using that liquid, you dilute it down to water your plants and it gives them a wonderful source of nitrogen to grow. But nettles offer another benefit. 
and that's to biodiversity. It's a food plant for lots of different insects, like your peacock butterflies and your small tortoise shell. So in the summertime, you'll see small little black caterpillars on the nettles. And it's just, it's really, it's a very simple way of helping nature in your garden. So if you have a small little patch of nettles, leave it, especially if it's in the sunshine. It's really, really good. So in this section of the garden, we cut the grass very, very rarely. When we cut it, it's in the autumn and we remove the grass from it, which is taking the, the nutrients away. So unlike the flower beds where we've been adding in uh, nitrogen enriched uh, material from the compost or from the comfrey and nettle feed, here we're depleting the soil. And by doing that, the grass is less vigorous and that allows for the, the naturally occurring seed bed that's in the soil to, to, uh, to flower. So with that, we have cowslip for the first time. There's cuckoo flower, yellow rattle, oxeye daisies, and all of these are wonderful for pollinators and different insects. So this is the cuckoo flower, and it flowers at the end of April, start of May, and the cuckoo returns to Ireland. But this plant is one I associate with the orange tip butterfly, who uses it as its food plant. And looking at it very closely, I can see a little small orange egg in it, which will become, in time, an orange tip butterfly. With gardening for biodiversity, so often less is more, less cutting, less cutting back. Leave your ivy. It's really good for the birds. Those berries are full of goodness and the birds will need it. I've really enjoyed showing you around some of our garden. Don't be afraid to try out things. Mistakes happen. Plants are pretty resilient. And if we can help biodiversity by growing a little patch of nettles, cutting less, it does a lot for both you as a gardener and for the nature around you. Thank you. How are you doing? This poem is about the swallows that nest in our sheds. It's called Dive Bombers. Dive bombers in my shed, walking past just watch your head. Zigzag here they come like bullets fired from a gun. Building nests on rafters high, architects they do defy. Building nests to raise their young, shelter from the summer sun. Zooming in, swerving left, air breaks on, they tend their nests. Precious cargo they unload, start of life soon will show. 90 miles an hour they go, dancing high, swooping low. Refueling life as they go, they can't stop to say hello. Touching down, taking off, all day long they never stop. Test flights they must take, cadets learn to navigate. Wings outstretched, they touch the sky, a day will come, a time to fly. Summer sun is fading fast, nature calls, engine start. Lining up, the room is clear, like the sun, they disappear. Thank you. I'm going to play a little tune called The Butterfly. <laughs> <laughs>